plenty of technology that soon may be part of every school in the nation. Fox 4's John Pepitone reports from Wyandotte High School to show us how cutting edge simulations are making kids excited about learning. K through 12 schools, universities, even medical schools are now using virtual reality technology to learn by doing without being afraid to make mistakes. I got, I got the sense that like a, a real human body was in front of me. Anatomy students wearing 3D glasses felt like they were inside a human body for a unique perspective on how food travels through it. Seeing what you have questions about allows you to like get answers of it because like once you're seeing it you can actually like believe like this is this is the real deal. In this 360 degree world, teachers also can show how disease spreads from viewpoints some never imagined possible. As they have the muscle movements and contractions where it shows how your muscles flex, contract, extend as your body moves. And that's something our kids don't understand without visually seeing it in augmented reality. Z-Space developed this software and equipment originally for the military, but now sells education applications for helping doctors, auto mechanics, even architects develop skills to perform better. Each piece of equipment from Z-Space is, is fairly expensive, but for what these uh, platforms can provide for our students, those real world experiences and those provide those engaging opportunities for our students, uh, price to me is uh, of no consequence. Each virtual reality workstation can cost up to $5,000 and is designed to be shared by two lab partners. KCK schools say they're always looking for ways to give underprivileged kids an edge in pursuing successful careers. And this technology may prove to be a powerful equalizer. John Pepitone, Fox 4 News. These kids are not alone. Medical students use the technology to practice surgeries and organ dissections without having to use real cadavers. Really neat. A single donation has led to a bright future six years later. The potential one metro charity.